Hey guys, it's Grace here and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a landing page without having to have a website. So um, I've talked a lot about the importance of having um, an email list and how it's going to help you to drive sales and how it's going to help you to get reviews to all your books. Um, but a lot of people have exp expressed to me that they didn't know how to create a landing page and they didn't have a website. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. You don't actually need a website in order to start collecting emails. Um, so I am going to show you how you can do it right on um, for free actually on a website called MailChimp and that's where I'm at right now. So all you need to do is um, sign up for a free account with MailChimp and they will give you, let me see their pricing here, for zero for free they will give you up to 2,000 contacts in your mailing list. So um, that is a really good deal. Plus the site is very interactive. Um, it's very easy to use. Um, you literally, you can put up your landing page in about uh, 15 minutes. That's how fast it is. So anyway, so once you start your account here, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is come over to where it says create campaign or up here where it says campaigns. Go ahead and click on that button. Then come down here where it says landing page and click on that. And then they just want you to name your landing page. So you just want to name it something that you're going to remember um, your landing page. So if it's a free gift offer, if it's a free gift offer, um, just put that in there. And then what they're going to ask for next is they're going to ask you to choose a template. And what I like to do is I like to choose the most simple uh, template that they have. And so I found this one here, grow your list. And the reason why I like a really simple template is because um, I want um, the people to be focused on one thing and one thing only, and that is just signing up for the email list. I don't want them to get distracted by any bells and whistles or anything else going on. Um, there's one objective here, and that's what we want them to do. We want them to sign up for the email list. So um, making it really fancy is really not gonna do you any favors. So let me just show you what they have here. So they have this divided up into little sections and you can change each one of these little sections. And you can see this is really pretty simple. So the first place we're gonna start right here is at the logo. And so if you're giving away a free gift or a free PDF or a guide or something in order to entice them to sign up for your email list, um, I would put a picture of it right here. So I generally will put a picture, you know, a picture of my book cover or PDF cover right here. So all you need to do is just go ahead and click on that right there and you'll see that this box pops up on your right. Go ahead and click on replace. And I already uploaded a book cover here. So I'm just gonna go and insert that in. You see that looks real nice. And so just one thing about the size is that um, a lot of times when you create these in Canva um, or if you have a, a graphic designer create them, they create them really large. They're usually about 2,000 pixels or more. Um, you want to make sure your pixels are about 250 because you want it to, you don't want this huge um, picture that's going to overtake your whole page and it's going to be like scrolling down three pages to find your opt-in box. Because uh, that is one of the important things about your opt-in box is that your opt-in box should show without actually having to scroll. You don't, we want to have it what's called above the fold. Um, if they have to scroll to find your opt-in box, then it's below the fold. And they've done studies on that, that um, you will not, the results are not as good. As, as a matter of fact, they're way worse if they have to scroll to find your opt-in box. So you want to keep everything compact and try to keep it on one page with like minimal scrolling. Okay. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to pick an enticing headline here. And your headline should be big uh, and bold. Okay, I have a couple that I had already picked out just to save some time here. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. And you're going to see the information comes up over here. And then we're going to paste it in there. Come on. Okay. So what I like to do if I'm giving away a free guide is I like to say free guide on how to attract thousands of subs subscribers to your email list. So I always want to mention that what they're getting and that it's free. Okay, and you want to make sure again that it's not more than two lines. One or two lines is fine. You want to make it big with impact. You want to get it um, all jumbled up with a lot of words on there. And again, like I said, it'll start making your um, your opt-in box too big, and it'll start having to scroll down. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is come to this next text, which I actually call the um, uh, call to action text. 
So in here, you want to do two things with this text. You want to um, tell them exactly what you want them to do, and you want to explain to them what they're going to get. So let me just copy this here, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so we're going to paste that in here. Okay, so in here, what I wrote was enter your email below to download my free guide. So what do I want them to do? I want them to email, email, enter your email below. And then what are they going to get? To download my free guide, right? And then next, I give them a little bit more additional information about the benefits of joining my email list. Plus, they're going to get notified whenever I release new books so that they can pick them up at steep discounts and even free, which is true because I'm going to be emailing them when the books are on free promotion. Um, or if I have any deals going on with the books, I'm going to send it out to my subscribers. Okay. So uh, another thing, just in case you don't have a gift to give away, don't worry about that. Don't let that stop you from creating an, um, an opt-in box, a landing page and putting it in your books. It's important that you just get started. Um, a lot of people now, you're going to get a lot more people to subscribe if you're giving something away, but you're still going to get plenty of people who will subscribe just to join your community, just to get um, free books and, and discounts. So you want to make sure that you have something in there to start collecting emails. And later on, um, as you're creating your, your free gift, um, you can put that and change it, change it up later. But it's important that you just get started collecting emails. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the actual opt-in box. And we're going to make a couple changes here. As you're going to see, I want to move this over here so we can see what's going on. Okay, so you're going to have different fields that you can put into um, the box here. Sorry, i got to make that smaller. Okay, so what I like to do is you can just put email address, and that's fine. Um, but I like to put the first name because I like to make my emails personal and say, Dear so-and-so. Um, you know, if I don't have their first name, I can't do that. So, um, but I would not do any more fields than that. Uh, two fields is more than enough. Um, if you keep putting in more fields, you're, you're making them jump through hoops. Um, the more they have to do, the less likely it is that they're going to subscribe. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to, um, change your button text. Okay. So this just says subscribe. Um, if it says subscribe or submit, don't ever put anything like that. What are they submitting to? Who the heck wants to submit, right, to anything? Um, what you want to do is you want to match your button text to whatever it is that you're giving away. So if it's a download, then you should put um, download my book or download. I like to put download now a lot. That's fine. If you're just asking them to join your community, then have um, uh, join the community or just join now. You could do that, but don't leave it. Um, just subscribe. Like they've done studies on that and people are less likely to subscribe if you just put subscribe. Okay. So the next thing you want to do, you're going to come down here over to the right where it says confirmation message. And that is just, um, confirming that the email went through correctly and that they have joined your mailing list. Okay. So there's something that I would change on here. Um, here's the text that they're going to see. So success, you've been added to the audience. I would subscribe. Um, I would put you've been added to our community. You can just put like, um, congrats. Make it like it's a big thing that, you know, they're part of your community now. Okay, and then if you just want to um, preview the message, I don't like that it's on two lines. I don't, um, how about you've joined? See if I can get that on one line. Okay, there you go, all on one line. I like that better. Okay, so once you're done that, the next thing that you can do, like I said, I don't like to do too many things to this. I like to keep it simple, but I will change the background color to a solid color. I don't like to use images because I think I find that images are distracting and I think a solid color gives more impact. Okay, so I would do something like that. Once you're done, just go ahead and click on save and close. 
save and close. Here's some other options. Oops, I went too fast. But the, some other options were to put your Facebook icons on there. So definitely, definitely do not put any icons on there that are going to take them away from what it is you want them to do. Because once they start getting on your Facebook page and your other social media sites, they're gone. They're not coming back. They're not signing up. So like I said, you don't put any other distractions on there anywhere else that they can go. I, I see that all the time where people put their social icons on there and I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You're not going to get them to sign up. All right. So uh, only two more things left uh, to finish off your page and get it live. You just want to um, add a page title. So just name it something that you're going to remember, like free email. It's so hard for me to type in the videos. Okay. Free email giveaway. That's fine. Hit save. And then you just need to add a URL. Basically what they want you to do here is if you have, they want you to buy a URL, like if you were going to buy your author name, you could do that here if you want. So this way, um, it'll show up on, you know, whatever your author name page is. But that's not necessary, especially if you're first getting started out, just getting started, just begin. And the easiest way is just to use the MailChimp domain. And so the, they just want you to add the last three words of the domain here. So if you're giving away a free gift, I'll just put free gift. That's it. And then click on save. Okay, and that is done. Now, once you're done all of that, you can publish. Just go ahead and publish it, and it's going to give you your link. It's going to let you know that you were successful because you're going to get the high five. And then here's your link. Uh, go ahead and copy your link. And then go ahead and click on the link and take a look at your um, your landing page. There it is. See, mostly everything is above the fold. I wasn't able to get everything above the fold, um, but most of it is. Because a lot of times people don't know there's anything down below, so they won't scroll down. So as you can see, you can see the email uh, address, and they know that I'm looking for more information. All right, so that is it. So, so the next thing you want to do is you want to get that link um, to the landing page into the front of your book. Okay. So you don't want to put that ugly link that we just, that I just copied, because if you did, it would look like this and it's kind of ugly, right? So what you want to do is you want to hyperlink it into some text. So you can do this with any of your, um, text documents. If you're using word or whatever you're using to create your books, um, all you need to do is put the text in there. Um, the link that you would want them, you know, to link to. So I'm going to put download my free gift. We're going to go up here and insert link. And then we're going to paste that link right in there. And that's it. And that is how you get your hyperlink into your book that will take them to the landing page. And you want to put it in the front of your book to make sure, just in case they don't read your entire book and they don't get to the end, you want to make sure they at least get to your landing page. So you can remind them of all your other great books that you have. Okay, and then a last thing um, people have asked me about is what, where if I don't have a website, then how do I host um, my free gift? Where do I put it at so they can download it? And you could do that right in Google Docs. So what you would do is you would put your free gift or your free guide or book or whatever it is in Google Docs, and then just come over to here to the share button, click on share. Then you want to make sure that anyone with the link can view, and then click over here where it says get a shareable link. And now it is copied to your, um, or you can just copy the link right here. And then what you would do with this link here is you would put it in the first email um, when they opt in to your mailing list. And so you would just write them the first email. Thank you for joining our community. Here's your free gift link. And that's it. And then that will take them to this page. And they can get your free report. And that's how you can do all of that without having a website. Okay. So that's it guys. I hope this was helpful and I uh, hope you guys are getting up your landing pages today. Remember you can do it in about 15 minutes. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave it down in the comments box. Let me know. Uh, look forward to doing the next video with you. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.